Gold price is seeing a move lower today, down about 25 bucks in the December bucket after seeing a range of 1921 all the way down to 1890 and closing below 1900 for the first time since March of earlier this year. Now, the dollar was higher, making its highest level since November. We also saw Treasury yields continue to move higher, getting to their highest level since October of 07. So not only is gold moving lower significantly, but we're seeing significant moves in other asset classes as well. Taking a look at spot gold, which might be a better measure of long-term movement, gold prices are up 2.5% year-to-date. However, they are down 9% since the May highs. We saw that culminating today with a big move lower in gold, the December bucket, down 25 bucks and back below 1900 for the first time since March. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you will notice that this week volatility in gold has been starting to flatten out and actually started to move higher. We'll tell you that continued. We saw a big move higher in gold vol. In fact, it got to its highest level since June of earlier this year based on what we saw in the big price move lower. Lastly, let's talk about what we have tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, which means we get our in-the-moment look at the job market via the claims number. We also get the third revision to second quarter GDP, and we get some home sales numbers. However, the market's going to be really focusing on some of the Fed speakers, one in particular tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. That is your Fed chair pal. He's speaking at a town hall with educators, not really the forum that we're used to and watching the Fed chair. However, given the underlying market movements that we've seen this week, all eyes will be focused on the Fed chair and what he has to say, given some of the changes since last week's FOMC. So midweek, a big move lower for gold, down 25 bucks in the December bucket for the first time since March, ahead of tomorrow's claims, GDP revision, home sales, and Fed chair pal.